Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and the RC version of iOS 15.4 is finally here. This is the final step of the beta stages of this update before it gets the release to the public in a few days. Now, of course, this is an amazing update, not just because it has a lot of new features, battery life is also really good and performance is pretty good as well. So we have a lot of talk about this update, the RC version, and of course, the final version of iOS 15.4. And in this video, you can actually learn everything you need to know about this update before you go ahead and install it on your device. All right, first of all, let's just quickly talk about the installation process. So if you're on iOS 15.4 betas right now, if you're on beta 4 or beta 5, whichever beta you are, you can go ahead and update to the RC version. Of course, you do that by going to the general settings, go to software update and update from here. Of course, if you have still the profile installed in your device, you can just go ahead and update. But if you don't want to update to this software and you want to update to the public release of iOS 15.4, then what you will need to do is go ahead and first of all, before trying to install the RC version, make sure you go ahead and go to general right here, go to VPN and device management, and just go ahead and delete the profile that you have already installed on your device. Reboot your device and then you won't get the update for iOS 15.4 RC, but you will get later on the public release of iOS 15.4, which of course will happen in a few days now. And this is really, really important, even though this is basically the same update. The RC version that you installed as of course beta tester and the public version that the public will install are both the same software so it won't be any change at all so just remember if you install the rc version then you won't get the public update at all because as i said that is the exact same version and now let's quickly talk about the features of this update and of course some things that you need to know if you haven't installed iOS 15.4 yet on your device or maybe you don't know about these features. I will just give you guys a quick brief here of the features that are coming to iOS 15.4. First of all, we have something really, really important that you actually need to know. Face ID with mask, of course, one of the biggest features of iOS 15.4 won't work on your device unless you have an iPhone 12 or newer. So any iPhone 12 from the 12 series, the 12, the 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max, 12 Pro Mini, they will actually support this feature. But of course, the iPhone 13s as well. But if you have an iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max and lower, then you won't actually be able to get this feature. I know this is really, really annoying. This feature we have been waiting for a long time. I know it's late for Apple to actually release this now. It should have been here a long time ago, but it is finally here. And for people that want to actually use it, if you don't have one of the newer devices, then you won't be able to use it at all. Now the same goes here for tap to pay. This is a feature that is coming with iOS 15.4 as well. This is quite big. Actually, this is a feature that's right now on the iPhones where you can just tap to pay. But now even businesses can receive payments using this feature, but they will have to have a newer iPhone, not as new as for the face ID with mask feature, but you will have to have an iPhone 10s or newer in order to receive payments via tap to pay with iOS 15.4 iOS 15.4 is of course packed with new features as well. So we have finally universal control on iOS 15.4, iPadOS 15.4, and you will be able to seamlessly connect your devices and control everything from your iPhone to your iPad to your Mac, everything with universal control. We have of course a bunch of new emojis that have been added to iOS 15.4. And one really cool addition to iOS 15.4 is the ability to now use SharePlay from any app that supports it using right here the share sheet. So you can see I'm right here on Spotify. I can just go ahead and tap share play. There is the button which is actually really, really useful iOS 15.4 also brings a new widget to the home screen. This actually looks really, really good. I think it's one of the most beautiful widgets that you can get on your iOS 15 device. It actually has only the smaller version of the widget, but you can now add this to your home screen and have a widget 
for your Apple card. There are also some very welcome changes on the podcast app as well. If you go to one of your podcasts, you can tap right here on episodes and you can filter them on played, downloaded and unplayed as well. Even if that podcast has different series, different actually seasons, you can go ahead and filter between seasons and only see the, the episodes of a certain season you want to see. So these are some of the new features you will get with the iOS 15.4 update. And now let's move on to the more important things, of course, battery life and performance. As I said at the beginning, these have been really good with iOS 15.4. Now, since I got iOS 15.4 on my device, that was on beta one, of course, I had quite good battery life, which was actually maybe the same as iOS 15.3, but with the installation of iOS 15.4, beta 5 things changed and i got way better battery life like you can see right here on one of the days when i still had beta 4 you can see right here what we got five hours on screen and of course the battery usage was at around probably at around 85 percent right there then you can see right here this is one of the best days of course with ios 15.4 beta 5 of course these will depend a lot as i've noticed whether you use Wi-Fi or you use cellular data, because of course cellular data will consume a lot more battery. So right here you can see 10 hours on screen, 10 hours and 26 minutes actually, and it's under 100%, probably like 94, 95% of battery usage. And this right here, around 72, 73%, we got six hours and 35 minutes which is actually really, really good. Now, keep in mind that this is not a newer device. It's an iPhone 12 Pro Max, and the battery health is actually at 92%. So these are great, great times with this device. I had a great time, and of course, great battery life as well. So that's really good. I think Apple has improved a lot with Beta 5 on the, of course, battery life of the iPhones. And hopefully this will happen to all the devices as well, because I've seen reports from a lot of people, especially on Reddit, that they get better battery life with Beta 5 since Beta 5 actually, but most of them, of course, are on newer devices. And going to the history of different Geekbench tests right here, you can see that we got pretty much the same results since beta one so the performance is actually quite good i didn't see any like major problems with the performance of the iphones here on ios 15.4 beta it is quite smooth i didn't have any like major problems like bugs glitches and stuff like that whatsoever now when talking about bugs of course there will be bugs always most of the bugs will be different for different users, different devices and things like that. But one of the major bugs that has been like bothering iOS users since the release of iOS 15 is the storage bug. So you go to your iPhone storage and this would actually take a lot to load. You can see how fast it loaded right there. This is really, really good. Like we can go ahead and just load all right here, all the storage in like a few seconds. This used to take like a lot of time. Sometimes it wouldn't load at all. It would just keep spinning like this and you wouldn't be able to actually see right here the storage of your device. So now this has been actually fixed and I really, really love that Apple has actually dealt with this because it has been a problem since the release of iOS 15. Now, another thing that you might notice is that when you try to update your device from iOS 15.4, once you have iOS 15.4 on your device and you'd want to update to a newer software that will be released in the future, you will be able to actually update using seller data. So you just go to general, go to software update. When you get the update here, tap on install, it will ask you whether you want to use seller or not and you can choose it from there. Now, a lot of people are reporting that they actually aren't getting that pop-up. I've been getting it since beta two. When I tried to install beta three, I got the pop-up asking me whether I wanna use seller or not. So you can actually completely install an update through seller or just use seller once you're disconnected from the Wi-Fi network. And I've been getting that pop-up every time I wanted to update since beta two of course, to beta three, beta four, and beta five. But a lot of people are reporting that they are not getting that pop up all the time. So it might still be buggy, but that's actually a feature, even though you might not get it 
sometimes it is a feature of iOS 15.4 and it is actually very very useful. And last but not least, let's talk about whether you should update or not to iOS 15.4. Of course you should. If you're one of those people that want to have all the cool new features of iPhones, go ahead and immediately update to iOS 15.4, of course simply by going to the software update page. But if you don't really care getting it on the first day, you just want to install it, you can go ahead and of course always make sure you have the updates installing right here on automatic so you enable these two buttons and don't have to worry about installing it. You will get it of course once your device is plugged in and charging. So this is a great update of course, especially if you have one of the newer devices and you will be able to actually enjoy all the new features like Face ID with mask because it won't be available of course as I said on all the devices. So overall a great great update, amazing features, battery life is really good. I'm really really enjoying this update and hopefully Apple will continue doing this with iOS 16 and give us some more amazing features. So that is it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and subscribe for more, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.